And the film kicks off with Prince and the Revolution performing the song that comes in at number 8 on the top 30 of 84. Let's go crazy. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get into this thing called Let's go crazy. Prince at number eight with one of his three hits in this year's top 30. You know, a lot of artists seem to be having their biggest hit ever this year. One of those goes out to one of Stevie Wonder's former backup singers. With the exception of her number one duet with Johnny Mathis called Too Much, Too Little, Too Late, she's only had mild chart success. Her biggest solo hit up to now was a top tenor called It's Gonna Take a Miracle. But this year, she wound up on a top-selling soundtrack called Footloose with a single called Let's Hear It for the Boy. Denise Williams went number one on the official charts, and she comes in at a very impressive number seven on the Rockin' America year-end top 30. Let's Hear It for the Boy and Denise Williams. My baby, he don't talk sweet. He ain't got much to say. From the Footloose soundtrack, that's Denise Williams and Let's Hear It for the Boy, number seven on the year-end top 30 countdown. And you know it's really been a great year for movies with music. Even if it wasn't a musical movie, there was music in the background. The film Against All Odds used the music that way, except for the theme song, which was an intricate part of the film, especially the end. Bill Collins wrote it and sang it and took it all the way to number one. It's also the number six hit for the year. Here's Phil Collins, Against All Odds. How can I just let you walk away? Just let you leave without a trace? When I stand here taking every breath with you Ooh, You're the only one who really knew me at all Phil Collins with the number six song of 1984, the theme song from the movie Against All Odds. We're counting down the 30 hottest hits of the year on Rockin' America's special countdown. Coming up next, you'll hear John Waite as a baby and as a solo artist with his biggest hit. I'm Scott Shannon with the top 30 of 1984 on our special Rocket America countdown. One of the biggest solo success stories of 84 goes to a former baby. In 1975, Tony Brock, Mike Corby, Wally Stocker, and John Waite formed a band called The Babies in London. Listen to their biggest hit from early 79. It went to number 13 on the official charts. Every time I think of you... They disbanded in 1981, and John Waite went to a solo career. In 82, John released his Ignition album, which didn't produce any chart singles. Poor John. But his second album, No Breaks, hit the streets this year. The first single from that LP exploded all the way to number one and made John Waite a household name all over America. His number five hit on the year-end top 30 countdown, Missing You. Every time I think of you... John Waite and Missing You on the Rockin' America Top 30 Countdown. That's his first number one record and the number five song in our special year-end look at the 30 hottest hits of 84. And now, we're inviting you to be on the jury on one of 84's many musical lawsuits. Huey Lewis filed a suit against Ray Parker Jr.'s Ghostbusters theme, claiming the song was lifted from his hit, Want a New Drug. Want a new drug. Want a It seems producers of the film originally asked Huey to write the movie's theme. When Huey said, no, uh-uh, he says they asked Ray Parker Jr. to come up with something similar. Now for Ray Parker Jr.'s side of the story. Getting complicated, isn't it? Ray says, and I quote, I, I just took some happy chords and a typical bass line that has probably been used in thousands of songs. A rhythm track that isn't creative but catchy. 
so you can dance to it. End of quote. Parker added that if anything, he had pop music by M in mind. You think so? Listen to that song. <laughs> Ray, if you had pop music in mind, let's hope the artist called M isn't listening. He might sue you, too. You be the judge and jury and decide. But no matter what you decide, Ray Parker Jr. won out with the biggest hit. At number four on the Rockin' America countdown of the top 30 hits of 1984, here's Ray Parker Jr. and Ghostbusters. Number four. Ray Parker Jr. He ain't afraid of no ghost. The theme song from Ghostbusters. Number four on Rocket America's Top 30 Year End Special. Coming up next, the three mega hits from 1984. Now 94. America. I'm Scott Shannon with the Top 30 Hits from 1984 on Rockin' America. The film Footloose didn't really have any major stars in it, but it did have a lot of great music. The soundtrack included songs by Bonnie Tyler, Sammy Hagar, Shalimar, Mike Reno of Loverboy, Ann Wilson of Heart, and Denise Williams. It also included two songs by Kenny Loggins. Now, Kenny's no stranger to putting a hit into a movie. In 1980, he hit the top ten with the song I'm All Right for a film called Caddyshack. Here's the guy who knows how to write those movie songs, Kenny Loggins, and number three on the year-end special, Footloose. Kenny Loggins with a theme song from the movie Footloose. It went all the way to number one and all the way to number three on the Rockin' America countdown of the 30 hottest hits of 84. At number two for 1984, a cut from an album titled 1984. We asked the group's lead singer if they took it from the George Orwell book, 1984, and he said, No, it's not so much the uh, title 1984 as the title Jump, and we wrote that because it's a leap year. <laughs> if you haven't guessed it by now, that was David Lee Robb. And the number two song on the top 30 for 84 is Jump by Van Halen. the number two song on the Rockin' America Top 30 Countdown for 1984. Stand by. Coming up next, the number one hit of the year. The Top 30 Countdown. 